Johnny is um, just one amazing human being. Somebody that always is happy, always smiling, and always positive. See you there. That was cool, man. It wasn't too long ago that he had probably some of the worst news in his life uh, when the doctors told him that he was diagnosed with cancer. I'm okay with my mortality. The big thing was how it would hurt the people around me that I care so much about. What's a better way of celebrating beating this and getting through this than spending a day on the water with him on his 60th birthday? I mean, there, there's some magic. There's some magic here. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty! Nasty, buddy! Oh, my God! <laughs> 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 easy, easy. Got him, Oh Woo! my god. That's awesome. Got him, baby. Nice. Yep. Easy. Yep. Oh, nice, baby! Woo! Man! It's all the way over here. Yep, yep. Go. Nice. Woo! Jumper. See ya. <laughs> Got him. Got him, buddy. We'll just see where this goes. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Down here in the Florida Keys, I mean, there, there's a lot of guys from inshore to offshore, and you know, we're all competing against each other, but we all respect each other. You know, we're all trying to make a living. There's a few guides that stand out in my mind, and, and you know, one that, you know, one of my favorite guides of all time is, is Captain Johnny Sheehan. I've been down here for a long time. It's still my favorite place on earth. We've got more people, we've got more traffic but you take a boat ride 15 minutes from the dock and you're isolated and you're back in time. It's just beautiful. I love every part of it. The tarpon fishing down here is an interesting situation. Uh, to me, the reason that our industry is so big that we have so many people wanting to do it, it's a progression of the sport. You start off fishing as a kid. You're with your dad or your mom or your uncle and you're catching little freshwater fish or you're in a pond or you're in a lake. As people progress, they wanna try to challenge themselves more. And the tarpon is the absolute perfect predator fish to fish for. Quite a few of them. Like a little collection. See them all? Yep. Wow, look at that's pretty, Johnny. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's buddy. pretty, bro. We all start as spin fishermen or bait fishermen or with a bobber on a dock, whatever. But as we get older and as we enjoy the sport more and more, we look for ways to make it more difficult on ourselves. And there is nothing more difficult than fishing large migratory tarpon on the ocean, in Florida Bay. If you can succeed in tarpon fishing here, you can catch anything in this planet. There's no question about it. That's it, that's a bite, move it. That's a bite. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Watch, oh boy. Got him, get him again, got him. Get him, get him, Johnny, get him. Yeah, baby. <laughs> when we're, we're on the flats or, you know, trying to sight fish, I'm usually on the back of a platform. I don't have time to get down and the opportunities don't really present itself. But uh, today, you know, we both wanted to just kind of hang out and be around each other. And he throws in and he hooks up and I see an opportunity for myself. Oh, there it is, there it is. Got him, baby. There you go. Got him, Johnny. <laughs> there he goes, buddy. <laughs> all right. Now this is awesome. Wow, that was cool, Johnny. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. Come on, get up right here. Come on, baby. Just do it one more time. You can do it. Just watch is incredible. You can do it. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. He's on the other, other side. side. <laughs> Here's big. He's on the reel, huh? Uh, yeah. Come on, come this way. Come on, there it is. There he is. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode.
Fish the legend. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish, the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the mill house. Well, Richard, thank you for allowing us to come into your home. Well, thank you for inviting me and uh, letting me be a part of this. The name Richard Black, I think, really became quite well known when you were a very young man growing up here in Isla Mirada. Uh, Hank Brown, I spent a lot of time with after school. My Mom would drop me off at his shop and I'd watch and help him do stuff. And, you know, we, we became really close. Uh, Hank and I fished together some and it, it was he, he was a big part of, you know, my my early childhood and, and learning jig fishing and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm looking over my father's shoulder and I'm seeing this monster Goliath bonefish over there. Tell me about that day and that catch. Blowing 20 from the north, northeast. And uh, I think he tailed a bunch. We probably threw 25 times to him. You know, every time we, he would turn right or we turn left and we're miss, missing it right. either way. And finally, I remember the fish had made a big mud came up, you know, smoke screen pouring out. Right. Made a left hand turn and he threw too far up in front of him. And the wind, he had the rod up too high and it kited across. And as I'm telling him to drop the rod to get it down, to get that shrimp right. down, it kited across the fish's face as he lifted his head up. And he turned, and the, as the shrimp fell, he just spun around and pegged it. How big is that fish? I thought he was 18. 18 pounds. I thought he was 18. Oh, he's the biggest one I've gosh. ever held. To watch this and other full-length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What are you doing over there, Mr. Johnny? Just checking them. Just checking them out? Checking them. Woo! Woo! <laughs> checking to see if he's still tight. Oh, man, that's, that's so awesome, bro. Come here. It's tough to grab these lines with the T-Rex arms. And to be sitting beside him, oh, smiling and laughing, no, fish no. jumping over top of each other, and with this just beautiful sunrise, celebrating him being there. It was a, it was a, it's a meant to be moment. It was a meant to be moment. How you doing with yours there, Buck? Getting kicked around. Getting kicked around? Oh man, hey, Johnny, my do something. something? Here, look at, look at that, buddy. Look at that. There goes that one. <laughs> one down. One down. See you, man. That was cool, man. Johnny's a, just a super positive guy. You know, he finds he finds the best out of anything. But it wasn't too long ago that he had some news. That's probably some the worst news in his life uh, when the doctors told him that he was diagnosed with cancer. You know, when I got my diagnosis, and, and literally I was told by the doctor, his exact words were, you have no time, you have to start treatment the day after tomorrow. It's a tremendous shot. Johnny didn't spare any time. He came in with a full force, great attitude, 
He obviously had crazy support from everybody that loves him, all of us guides. The big thing wasn't my mortality. I'm okay with my mortality. The big thing was how it would hurt the people around me that I care so much about. You know, my son and my daughter, my son lives overseas, my daughter lives in Boston. So these were phone calls that I had to make to tell your kids that you've been diagnosed with cancer. And that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life. But that being said, this town began to rally around me like something I could have never imagined. I'm used to being on the side of the giving, not the receiving. It was difficult for me to accept the outpouring of love and the help that this community brought to me. There's no way to fully explain the feelings that I had when I saw the outpouring of love and concern from everybody that I know. The nurses, the nurse practitioners, the doctors, the people around me, this community, and everybody in my family just helped out. He's in you know, remission now and uh, looking and feeling better than he's ever felt. What's a better way of celebrating Johnny's life and, and his, his celebration of beating this and getting through this than spending a day on the water with him on his 60th birthday? I mean, there, there's some magic. There's some magic here. It's all about the water. And healthy habitats. And effective management. Conserving our flats fisheries takes all three. That's why BTT is working on all of them. If we do less, we'll lose. And so will the next generation. You can help us achieve the Grand Slam of conservation by supporting Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Become a member today at BTT.org. And join us as we bring science to the fight. To learn more, visit BTT.org. When you make the kind of investment I have in boats, from my skiff to my contender, choosing the right trailer is everything. And I choose Ameritrail. They're built tough, man. You know, not only are they stylish and look good, and they have all these features, everything about it is done right. And it makes me feel comfortable trailing my boat down the highway. Ameritrail trailers. Load, launch, relax. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Woo! Simrad Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Ameritrail Trailers. Load, launch, relax. And by Pathfinder Boats. Angler Driven. Johnny and I are coming this day with just, just nothing more than just spend the time on the water together. Oh, once we get in this little trench here, we'll pick up speed. Yeah, oh yeah. After this magical moment of, of this tarpon and double headers, and it was just kind of like, okay, well, what, what's next? And already in my mind, it was already starting to kind of spin, and I'm like, I'm gonna try to give him a, a grand slam on his 60th birthday. Dude, you might want to cast that one. I think we caught a permit on that one. The last one. You think it's stacked? It might be. I still want to. What's next? Well, I'm going to go after the, one of the harder ones, you know, which I think is the hardest in the Grand Slam is a permit. Go ahead, Johnny. Take it. Hey, hey, you have a perfect downwind. Take it. Oh, what are you what? doing? There's another one with them. We got this idea. Where are they? That's a nice permit, bro. Country mile. Who that want a country mile, Jay? Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot, Johnny. 
No, I had one pile on it. I had one pile all over it. Nice one, Johnny. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish, bro. Good fish, man. They're still behind them here. What's more fun than this? Not much. Not much, Johnny. Having the opportunity to fish with Jared a few times has been an absolute thrill. To me, he's one of the most dedicated fishing guys that I've ever been around. The amount of fishing guides on the water, it's overwhelming. He finds areas where his fishing is successful that not everybody else fishes. And that goes back to the early days of scouting and hunting for fish. I love when you can see the white lips. Yeah, and I know, like how that. pretty is that? That was it. it's gonna work as soon as it hit the water, buddy. Yeah. Ride right out here on this on the, this beautiful morning, right? And then all of a sudden stumble across some tarpon. Oh. And then say, hey, we're gonna go try to catch a permit. Look what you just did. Look, Look what you just did, man. You know? Oh. Almost a double. But you know, after this one, I have to try to get one, right? Yeah, absolutely. Come on, go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there he is. There he is, buddy. Oh, okay. Oh, a little, little sneeze back. He's a sneeze. That's out. Oh. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Look at that, Johnny. That is oh my perfect. God. Look at that. Gorgeous. Let's get him back in, though. Get him back in. Get him back in. He's got to go find his buddies. Oh. Be careful. Those crabs hey. are rough out here. All right, buddy. You ready? Yeah, my man. man. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do what well, I want to go? Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, All right. I need I need to try to get one of these things, man. Yeah, let's go. Look. Let's go look. Up and left. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. That was awesome, man. <laughs> that was cool. They're small. I think they're smaller, so they couldn't really suck it in. Oh, that's incredible, though. What an incredible morning, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, you just take what take what comes. Felt the old thump, 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 thump town, baby. Thump town, baby. Beautiful. How pretty is this? Thing? Oh, he he garbaged, he garbaged it that last time. Coming your way. Nice. Nice, Johnny. Nice, Johnny. You know what that means, all right? Yeah. It means we're going to have to go for uh, one more species. Go check one of those other ones. Well, you know, a little, maybe a little bone fish. Yeah, bullet. I don't know, man. I insist on having a clean boat when I fish. It helps protect my tackle, helps protect everything about that boat. So when I choose a cleaner degreaser, there's only one choice, Formula 88. Cut! Ah, oh, it! Fabulous! Just take it down a notch there, cowboy. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats. Fish, the legend. Ready, might be one more. Make a reel. Built to last, Not built to stop. There we go. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. That's what it's all about. That's what it is all about. Come on, step up. Where are your grades at? Where are your grades at? Oh, A oh. plus. Oh, A plus. And now, a minute from our conservation partner. Bonefish and Tarpon Trust.
The waters of the Florida Keys are protected by the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. This sanctuary supports vital habitats for bonefish, tarpon, and permit. It also affords protections for the things that we love, the sport that we love, and the culture that is found throughout the Florida Keys. The National Marine Sanctuary has rolled out what they're calling the Restoration Blueprint. It's a plan to protect and conserve these waters for generations to come. Today, we've seen the impacts of boaters, fishermen, and of all sorts of user groups. It's really important that the management of the sanctuary get it right. In that effort, our guides associations has partnered with Bonefish Tarpon Trust to come up with collaborative science-based management approaches and recommendations. This is vitally important to protect the sustainability of this resource for our economies, our livelihoods, our families, and our communities. If you'd like to help and you'd like to support, please visit btt.org to find out how. To learn more, visit btt.org. We've already had an amazing morning so far. You know, we, we got doubleheader tarpon on fly. See you, baby. That was cool, man. Pulled up and Johnny caught his permit. I, I actually got to catch a permit too. What are you doing? There's another one with him. That was awesome, man. <laughs> and the only thing left uh, that we need to complete a, a grand slam for Johnny and the boat is, is a bonefish. We got the weather, we got, we got the angler, but we mostly, we got magic that's with us. We got the, the vibe is right in this boat. Come here, come here, come on, it's coming, it's 12 o'clock. Go right, go right. Light bumps, light bumps, light, 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 light. He's on you, get him. That's him, buddy. Dude, are you kidding me? That's him, buddy. That's him. You got the Pathfinder creeping around in the scary Dude. stuff. And we got me. We got a leader and slam. There it is, baby. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. He absolutely ate the heck out of Oh, he loved it. You got there him, There you go. Buddy. Look you at that it. blue you on the got tail, him, buddy. buddy. You got him, man. That is special. In the Jared. Pathfinder? Jared, that is special. It is very special, man. That is oh, great. Oh, beautiful, buddy. The blue tips lit up. Oh, see you, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, what do you think? Think about it, Johnny. On your birthday, in the bay boat, Grand Slam. Look right? at the weather. Look at how beautiful the water is. How could it get any better than this? Johnny doesn't know this, but uh, back waiting for us at, at Angler House is uh, all the community of guides and, and loved ones that love Johnny are gonna be waiting for to celebrate his 60th birthday. It's about to be a party. It's something special to celebrate Johnny, uh, not only for his birthday, but that he's here with us. To go through what I went through in the last six months and to end up having my 60th birthday with the people that I care about in this community, it's, it means the world to me. It means everything, it really does. Johnny is, um, just one amazing human being. Somebody that always is happy, always smiling, and always positive. Everything about him is positive. Even if something's not going your way, Johnny finds a way. <laughs>